<laughs> Bill, can your uh, can your dogs eat, sing or play hockey or any of that? No, but I'm gonna let him see this uh, show, a copy of it. Maybe he'll learn a little something. But weather-wise, not gonna be that wacky. Although we do have a few changes coming up. Our upper level low, which has in, been in the base of the trough down here in Mexico, is starting to lift out now. The subtropical jet much stronger, so it'll come out fairly quickly, but we're getting some of these impulses of energy, so over the higher terrain we may see a little heavier shower, possibly a thunderstorm, and then late tonight we might even get a little heavier shower in the I-35 corridor, but once it kicks out, then we're going to get a flow pattern coming in from the west by tomorrow, so this will be out of here by tomorrow. So still some rainy weather and then we're going to warm it up tomorrow. But tonight we don't change things a great deal. Uh, the high temperatures today only got in the 40s. That's exactly what we expected. Upper 30s, low 40s right now. Overnight lows, no big change. Upper 30s, low 40s. Sustained winds have been coming in from the northeast, but we're starting to see a shift now in those winds, and they'll continue to come around, and by tomorrow we'll have them coming in from the west. So with that southwest and west flow, 5 to 15, we can move that number up to 63 and then the winds come continue around they'll come in from the north here's where the temperatures go down now overnight Tuesday night very early Wednesday we could get a little freezing rain at uh, and there's not a lot of moisture so we wouldn't have to worry too much about the road condition but really be prepared for that possibility and then Wednesday night before all the precipitation is over with it'll cool enough there could be a snowflake or a little sleet here and there then we kind of warm as we head to the end of the week and move into next weekend next weekend we'll be out and about Curtis